you're watching 8 bit days a week and we're back with another toy unboxing and this time it's the masters of the universe battle cat the fighting tiger and we all know this is actually um, he-man's uh, steed he's actually cringer that uh, transforms with adam to become he-man and the uh, battle cat this is once again the from the origins line which is um, based on the 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 old ladies line but with more articulation so here we go standing there with my previous figures he-man and skeletor um let's see terrifies every enemy removable armor and battle piece carries he-man into battle i really like the artwork there and uh, we see a really fierce side of uh, Cringer and here's the back all right so talking about the crossovers here it's new for 21 battle armor he-man Shira, but doesn't look like the filmation version Roboto battle armor Skeletor merman Zodak, Battle Cat, and Panthor. Now, Panthor, of course, looks like a repaint of uh, Battle Cat here, but uh, there is a the flocked version, the one with the kind of kind of like it simulates a hair, I guess. I think that costs more. Although, to be honest, I've never seen any of these in stores <laughs> except Zodak I think I, I think I've seen Zodak once with the rest um, I guess they're just hard to find or not available here so let's go ahead and uh, try to unleash the beast and I hope I don't ruin the box in the process just some tape so i actually had the original uh, battle cat growing up but um and um i just recently well not recently just a few years ago lost it actually during one of my uh, movement moves between places and okay um there's no comic there's not much inside it's just a battle cat of course oh yeah and no other accessories like a base or i don't know a weapon and uh, the thing about the original version it's just like a statue it's frozen it's in its pose and uh, not able to do much but have a figures ride on him if you have the mount and uh, I lost the mount when I was uh, since I was so small that's why I just had like a cringer statue oh, these things are hard to remove you really need to use scissors I guess okay here we go so, oh wait, there's still some rubber bands stuck. Oops, sorry. Had to do that. I think I'll keep these wires. So, all right, first, let's show him up close and uh, side view. Okay. There we go. And back view. All right. <laughs> I wish I had one of those spinning things so I could properly show them. Now let's remove the uh, the mount and the helmet. This is really looking great. I like how the colors are a lot brighter. And 
All right, for articulation, there's the neck and the head. Oh, and the mouth moves too. Oh, that's nice. And of course, the tail. We can make it stand up. And uh, for the legs, let's see. All right, not much rotation there. Just, just enough, I guess. You can spin these. Mm, but it only goes like that, kind of like uh, uh, when Voltron uh, Lion Force is going to combine. Oh, but on the back, it goes backward. Mm. I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> um, I guess it is what it is. Uh, it doesn't have any, like, a on the ankle like for the paws to move. So if you want to do like a scratching attack pose, unfortunately you cannot do that. Hmm. Now the thing is, Cringer is supposed to be smaller than Battle Cat <laughs> because he actually grows when He-Man shoots his laser, I mean thunder thing when he transforms. And uh, Let's go ahead and have He-Man ride it. All right, now he doesn't fit. There you go. And that's it. It's actually one of my favorite things about this line is the steeds. But I know there's not much of them. Uh, just. Uh, Battle Cat here, of course, for Skeletor, there's Panthor. And uh, for She-Ra, there's Swiftwind, but I don't think Swiftwind is available for the Origins line yet. And that's something I'd like to see though, like more steeds. It's the thing I like most about the Motu line. And maybe I'll do a like my most wanted figures top 10 <laughs> um, probably full of steeds though because I like I like it when our characters are able to ride on some whatever animal or monster <laughs> that's available it really makes your imagination run all right uh, that's it then for this uh, quick unboxing and um, for of course for Motsu fans I highly recommend this um, thanks for watching please like subscribe